All right, everybody, we're back with part two of this expert play Phantom Draft here on Artifact. We had a difficult loss round one here, and that was, if you if you watched that first video, if you didn't, I'm going to go ahead and tell you what happened. Basically, we got Echo Slam. So we, we were winning handily, I felt like, and we got Echo Slam mid lane, and then we were struggling to stay in the game and then ultimately lost. So that was a bit of a difficult defeat. Uh, our deck did not do the things that we set it up to do, uh, but hopefully in this next game here we'll have a better showing, and we'll hopefully at least get to three wins, guys. That's that's like the minimum of what we want, just to make sure that we're not going negative on these drafts. Uh, but for those of you who are just tuning in, perhaps didn't watch the first draft, I'm joined today by my friend Proling, who is a Twitch streamer, plays a lot of artifacts. He helped me draft and we are making a lot of these decisions together. The links to his Twitch uh, channel will be in the description below if you want to check him out. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the next match and see what we can do. All right, so a red, black, splashing green deck. I have not had a chance to, to pick up an Omni Knight yet in the format. All right, some hot pinky. He has a heal. Right, right. So we have some hot uh, bristleback on bristleback action. What yeah. we what we could do is force them to duel and then they'll trade. If that was something we wanted to do, I'm not saying we do, but I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna duel this bounty hunter. Yeah. And just ruin his day. Hopefully we don't get a Janata proc. Yeah. And Which we do. We do. <laughs> so I think you actually might not duel here. I mean, don't, you'll still trade. The but... only the only reason I think we may duel is because we're going to take 11 damage to our tower if we don't. Whereas if we do, it's just a trade. I mean, we lose a card. We I mean, we lose a card, but we don't take 11 damage. So the, the question is, would you trade a card for 11 damage on your tower? Right. And I think we do. Probably. It's rough that they got lucky like that. I mean, it's a 50-50 shot. But we also have two duels, so... Right. And there's nothing we want to do here. We have and one for me next turn. Um, if our opponent picks up a good item here... Or if we pick up a good item, we could copy it. So interesting. I would take a Traveler's Cloak. I mean, that was my first instinct, but I'm also considering this mall. Well, the Healing Salve actually keeps our Bristle alive. You're right, it does. Yeah, let's do that. Um, and then if they have some cards to play, worst case scenario, we could play Healing Salve and then duel him. Uh, to make sure right. he doesn't get to that uh, the next point. And I think we just drop a bad in center lane. Yeah, and there goes Debbie as well. We don't have any green cards. Maybe we'll draw something. Oh, that's rough. Let's see if our opponent picked up any kind of tricks. He picked up a six gold item, which is probably a Stonehall cloak. Sucker punch. That is unfortunate. So yeah, now we just don't do anything. <clears throat> so good well, on opponent. We... Yeah. And he's gonna pick up two armor for his bristleback kill. Yeah, and we can't do anything here. Just this this minion here plus Debbie is just too much. So we're gonna lose our bad right out of the gate. Feels yeah, pretty bad. Rough rough round right there. Yeah. Oh, and they're gonna track. Jesus. Okay. The game's not over yet, guys. I've won plenty of games where my matches started like this. Sure. Uh, we just had to be strategic about where we drop our next two heroes, and I think that's going to be crucial. Stonehall yeah, Pike. for me could be pretty strong, actually, if they buy a big item here. Mm -hmm. I was hoping, honestly, that they would put down the, the Pike. So whatever this item was, I was hoping they would give it to Keith. Yeah, it was the pike. 
but that's not the case. I think here we just need to go ahead and dimensional portal. Yeah. Make sure that we're at least doing something in some lane, putting pressure on the board somewhere. Man, did we just buy another healing salve? I don't think so. I don't think so either. That feels pretty bad. Let's see, 23 gold right now for the opponent. I think we Legion left. And then we can... I would, I would probably double left, honestly. Really? Yeah. Dramoy is going to get screwed if you put him mid, I think. I think uh, Omni Knight's going mid or left lane to heal either Bristleback or Debbie. So it's a gamble for us. If we put Jamoy mid, there's a possibility he doesn't take any damage. We can steal the pike and then even potentially trade for Debbie, which would be fine for us after we steal the yeah, pike. Yeah, I guess with him having one health, it might be worth it. But then if he also, if he goes um, Omni mid, and heals him, and then we can't kill it. We still can take the pike, and then we're we're obviously winning left lane more. So he's going to opt to uh, to put the Omni Knight here, and he's going to be able to get that heal, heal a unit by three. So that's of course what he's going to do. We don't have initiative, so we can't go ahead and duel quickly. So he will have. We'll see. Let's see what they do. Another Man, sucker punch. That's rough. So we could so healing he cell. He bought a 20 gold item. 19 gold item. Yeah. What was the other item? When did he draw the other item? I'm not sure. Was it this round? You can hold your mouse over it and it'll tell you. Draw not that one. one, the other one. Okay, so you bought two items for 21 gold. So here's what I'm trying to figure out before the time runs out. We can healing cell <clears> for one to keep him alive, but the odds that this isn't some item he can just drop... Yeah, it's pretty low. So I think, honestly... Man, those sucker punches are just crushing Yeah, he us. got a lucky top deck there. So many of our, of our abilities... Uh, it's, it's necessary for us to be able to attack. And it's just kind of like the perfect answer for us. And now he's... We basically just fed him another two free armor. And right. our Jamoy is going to get hit by the Debbie, but not... <laughs> not so, himself hit him. So we can... Mess, we so can rookery. what you can do here, actually... You can messenger Rookery and tell your... Your guy to attack Debbie. Mm. And you we can also build control and tell him to attack the tower. Ah, uh, good point. I was the only reason I didn't think about that is because I was hoping to play one for me and take its pike. Um, but there's a high possibility that one of these. Oh god, and he's gonna take our mana. So now we definitely do this play. But it still sucks. I mean, at the end of the day, we're taking ten damage on our tower. Yeah. But we need to stop dying and giving right. him gold. Right. God. And I use a messenger rookery to attack the Debbie. Right. So not bad. This is going to work out. We're going to take four damage on the tower. Debbie dies, doesn't get another buff from Pike, which is good. Because I think a Debbie with 12 attack damage is just uh, something that we strong. don't want to deal with. Oh my god. <sighs> so, Vesture looks really good next turn to try to steal. Right. That's really shitty. God, what a powerful item. And of course, there's no point in even attacking her because she has three armor. Do. Yeah. And yeah, this game is going. Yeah, well. guys, I think this is going to be a, a O2 match, which sucks because I've been having such good luck lately in my casual drafts that to have this going so poorly feels really bad.
So yeah, we need to get numbers somewhere. Um, Honestly, I don't want to feed this bristle back anymore. Yeah. Um, I think if we go double mid is strong. I think uh, we're gonna lose the Jamoy this turn. I don't know if there's a whole lot we can do about that. I mean, we have a healing salve. I think. Yeah, I was thinking of putting bristle back in the right lane. Yeah, you could do that and then duel. Yeah, I think that's what we're gonna do. We just have to hope that our opponent doesn't have just like all the answers. But we're gonna have initiative. Double blessing. For our right lane. Uh, sorry, our center lane. Do we have invincibility at mid? Yes, we do. And that was the reason why I put a bad mid. Hoping, honestly, that he would go directly in front of Debbie and we would pop borrow ton. Okay. And I, I was honestly expecting a town portal squirtle. Scroll. I'm a portal squirtle. Um, but I don't think there was anything we could have done to play around that. So with minus one mana, that really messes us up. But I, think before... I would probably use the one for me first before he town portals that guy out. You think that's a possibility? Yeah. Okay. Let's try. We're hoping for the best for proc. Damn. No. We didn't get it. Unfortunate. Fine. So strong. Yeah, Pike is still good. And we can honestly, we can give that to perhaps Bristleback here. Which will let him trade for the key. <clears throat> and I'm also honestly considering Barb mailing our Jamoy here so that it doesn't take two damage. Okay. So now I kind of so want to Barb can mail. The Abaddon. We can. Yeah, let's pike the Abaddon and barb mail the, the bristle back. I mean, if you don't barb mail him, he's not going to kill the Debbie. Oh, so right, like, right. Um, you, can, you can rookery. Oh, well, you're only, no, you're only doing three damage from him. Yeah, it just doesn't doesn't work. Yeah, we can't. We uh, Can we do two more barb damage? I don't... Good, but... I don't think it kills him. I don't think the two retaliate gets past his armor, does it? Yeah, it, it, it just stacks on top of your attack. Well, then I think we have to do that. No enemy. See, it doesn't kill it. It should kill it. What's it that thing that's on? Yeah, I thought so. So it's, a, it's calculating your damage twice? I've had this happen before. I kind of made that same that similar mistake. So that's pretty unfortunate for us. Because now yeah, we can't kill Keith. And now they have time of triumph. Yeah, it's rough. And we don't have the ability to keep him alive now. Oh, man. We can still drop a Constructs. Yeah, probably drop the Construct. Or Conscript, rather. Oh. Yeah, that's what I meant. They have all this cleave, though. And they have all the armor. This game is just... His dude's getting legit draws, man. Yeah. Those double sucker punches at the beginning of the game were just... Yeah, we had bad placement plus the double sucker punches. That dude's a man. We at least get to keep our blue hero, so potentially we could draw something. We have to remember, we have Annihilation, too, in our deck. Could always come through as a Hail Mary for us. I don't think we've drawn it one time. We haven't. We haven't seen it at all. Also worth considering, our opponent only has an Omni Knight in the left lane. Right. Yeah, I think we have to defend mid. And we have Double Blessing. 
Or we can just duel to get this dude off the battlefield. We can draw cards with Jermoy this turn. Mm -hmm. There's our Annihilation. Yeah, we might be dropping that right lane. Yeah, I think we will. So I think our play is to double blessing. It saves um, Jamoy, it saves a bad. Does it say okay. Yeah. Yeah, I mean I think it's strong because it's a permanent upgrade. Mm -hmm. God. Yeah, it's that's rough. Whatever, dude. This guy's just straight up taking away our ability to uh, use cards quite a few times this game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, I think Annihilation is... Yeah, now we here. just got a ton of value, extra value out of our Annihilation. And that leaves this lane up for grabs for us. So now, honestly, I think we need to try and contest maybe the left and right lane. And we need to start getting our own good cards. Or our own good items, rather. I was debating yeah. grabbing a draw card. Um, but the Basilius, I think, is perhaps too good to pass up. I think he's going to put Debbie left lane. Mm. I think he might revisit mid. How much health is on our tower on mid lane? Eight. So, I mean, he has mid. Mid we can't contest. It's just it's How much is on our tower on the right lane? 32. We have 26 okay. and 32 on the outside lanes. I think we can now okay. contest left and right lane. But I think it starts, yeah, Debbie goes left lane. I think he sees he's winning mid, so now he just he figures he can easily beat us in the left lane. But we may be able to, to stop him here. We're getting a lucky curve right now. Absolutely. And we can Stonehall Pike the Bristle and then duel the Omni Knight. If he lets yeah, us do that. That's good. And then next turn, I mean, we have three heroes coming down. It's not nothing. So we'll pike here. And then we'll give two. I don't know if that counts for his no, barroom brawl. Because he's not getting blocked, blocked by it. Yeah, that's, that's what I thought. Okay. That's a good slay. That hurts. But I think we still. <clears throat> so wait. Yeah, we can also modify him first. Still in the fight. So now we'll get. Wow. And we're also, I mean, he's using cards and we're forcing him to kind of reveal his plan, so to speak. He's so you can help there. Hellbear in front of the Debbie. Yes. Just to protect the damage afterwards. So we're getting extra value off of our heroic resolve. So there we go, another two health. I'm ready to prove myself. Hmm. It's fine, you still have to block that twelve damage. Yeah, I think so. Probably won't be relevant, but it'll lower Debbie's uh, damage by one, I think. Yeah, well. And unless it doesn't go past armor, in which case that would that would suck. I think it still does. Um, we can actually choose a an, a target, and we can block Debbie and kill the assassin. That could be decent. Oh, yeah, and that also one. and it also buffed our bristleback by another two health. So we're actually preventing 15 damage with this Hellbear right now. And this prevents further further damage. Yeah, he'll do three this turn, but not next turn. So not bad. We came out of that kind of okay. Wish we had a way of picking up Legion, because I feel like they probably have a scroll, and they may pick up this Bristleback if they're able. Let's pick a fight, shall we? 
And I don't think we want to do anything. Hold on to Cloak and Basilisk, hopefully to save some heroes that we drop. Down goes the tower, up comes the core. Right lane's completely uncontested, and we have initiative going into the next round. So this is a tricky one. Let's grab Cloak. Cloak. Heal. So I think you got to put Abaddon on left lane. Absolutely. And one of the Jamoys. Probably one of them left lane. The yeah. one that can draw us a card. Something like that. Wait, he'll suck. double drop left lane probably. Ab absolutely. Um, we have double blessing. Plus lots of uh, health items we can give. So honestly... I think the odds of him going. Oh man. Well, I think we need to. We have to do this. Yeah. We don't have any more heroes. We don't. Yeah. We needed. A, we needed a portal scroll to pull up our legion commander. Damn. My idea, basically, my thinking was there. The more heroes we have in this lane, the better for our blessings. And the more we're going to be able to block these guys. But these still have the, the Triumph on them, the Time of Triumph. So, like, our Bristleback is taking 25 damage here. Right. God, this sucks. Okay. Let's draw a card. I have foreseen what is to come. So you can... Go invulnerable with Abaddon. Right. And then Battlefield control the Keef to attack Abaddon. Mm hmm. To take away 10 damage going on to Bristle. Right. A better run. And so he's taking 27. What's his max health? Who? Our Bristle max. His max health is 18. Okay. No, 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 no. Right click, right click. You gotta target the key first. Okay. Yeah. I'm just trying to see if this is gonna even save. He's still taking 21. Right. And we're also taking cleave damage now. Oh, and he can just redirect That's his attack. The freaking cleave. Yeah. I didn't. I didn't even realize that they had the cleave from Time of Triumph. Yeah. So obviously you put that. You put the shield. Mm -hmm. And then we double. We double blessing. This, even with this, we're we're losing the tower because. Yeah. Of the absolutely. Debut. Yeah. So I think we just concede, honestly. They've already taken mid lane, and I don't. We have no minions, so. Yeah, I don't. I don't think we can win. Um, we can force Debbie to attack. Yeah, but I think it's not really going to change anything. I mean, we don't die this turn. We have no heroes. <laughs> well, look how awesome we are. Mm -hmm. I gotta get my money's worth, man. So Bristleback lives. And then he's gonna change his combat target. You can change his combat target again if you wanted to. Let's play this. All right, all right. Now battlefield control the keep okay. again. What's that? Yeah, let's um, let's Remastic. blessing first. <laughs> 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 
Our opponent's just like shaking his head on the other side of the battle. Dude, the bristle has like 30 something health now. Yeah, and we'll be able to fully heal it. <laughs> and guys we're just having fun at this point um it's pretty dang uh positive Over. that we're gonna lose yeah i mean we have our best card the only card i think in our entire deck that could get us out of that we've already played and that was annihilation um and also we don't even have a blue hero in that lane anymore that could that could even cast that for us. So pretty sure the game is just is just over. Um, the only thing that keeps me from conceding, if you're wondering, it's not bad manners. I've watched and played way too many TCGs um, to concede before the game is over. So this game has kind of a checkmate function that will that will basically let you know that there's nothing you can do to live, and we can rely on that. Honestly. Our common sense tells us that we cannot win this lane. Uh, no. no draw we possibly have could save us. Yeah, we would need to draw... Actually, no, because they have 8 damage from Tone Triumph. So. But all we yeah, have to over. do, though, is just Fountain Flask the Bristleback for 28. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> We deal maximum damage. Modify his, his damage. This is called right. BM now. Yeah, <laughs> you're right. Uh, now yeah. put a photic shield on him. Yeah, we need to give him that uh that retaliation. And we can it's just nasal goo. Takes that extra damage. And we'll pass, and now we give the opponent a very satisfying minus 44 on our tower. And they get a well-deserved victory. I mean, they saw the line. They had those two early stuns that locked us out of our lanes. Uh, the combination of losing our heroes in certain lanes while also being stunned in the exact turns that we had the opportunity to kill their heroes. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it wasn't bad, a, man. yeah, it felt bad. It wasn't a super close game. So we're going to finish the gauntlet. We win nothing. We lose one ticket. We don't really lose anything. I didn't buy these tickets. They were they were given to me as I installed the game. So I don't have a super feel-bad feeling, but that's kind of one step backwards on trying to go infinite in these types of drafts. And honestly, it feels bad that I'm going to upload these videos, but hopefully they were entertaining. I think our draft strategy was sound. Um, we just never really were able to, through our draws, execute our plan. And... Yeah, uh, this isn't like some other games where you can get an opening hand and then mulligan and try and get a better opening hand. You just really have to work with the RNG of your hero's placement, turn one, as well as the RNG of your opening hand. So, I mean, you could potentially have the best deck drafted possible, and you could still lose. You could still go 0-2 in your draft, thanks to the, the amount of RNG that's really present in every TCG. So, thank you so much for watching, guys. Once again, my name is Brett. My channel is Good Talk Gaming. I hope you enjoyed this very, sh very short series. We will certainly be back with more. I have four more tickets to burn. Hopefully, ProLane will join me for those videos as well. And ProLane, you want to say something before we head out? No, I agree. Like we, we had a pretty hard time with our, our card draws in this gauntlet. I mean, six possible dimensional portals. We drew two, and. Uh, that was kind of what our whole draft strategy was based around, was getting those deep portals and going wide. So that kind of felt bad. Two is Sucker Punches in the second game. That's, I mean, that's the, the opponent just getting a good top hand. So yeah. kind of rough, but it's just kind of the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. So we'll try again and see how it goes. All right, guys. So once again, link to ProLane's uh, Twitch stream is going to be in the description below. If you want to find him, feel free to check him out. And yeah, without any further ado, guys, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Take care.